Hi folks, welcome. It's the 5th of August. And I've been away, been away teaching and just not, not got into the, got into the groove as far as making videos is concerned. Anyway, I just wanted to, uh, I've got some pots here. I want to actually sell them off cheap. So I thought we'll do a little video on them. And so you can just see them. They're all numbered, as you can see. Um, just I think we're losing the sunshine almost. Uh, yeah, these are all sort of tea bowls with differing designs. Um, I've had them, some of them I've had a while in my display area. I'm going to mark them down. I think that one says 55. They're usually around about 48 to 55 dollars. Anyway, um, if there's any here that grab you, probably going to sell them off. Uh, they're probably going to be 40 dollars including shipping. So we'll give free shipping and we reduce the price to like eight or ten dollars. So yeah, there these are this is a milky milky glaze with a, an impressed decoration and um wood ash sprayed over the outside. That's number twelve. These are all gonna be the same price. This was like a a hackamy uh and then iron oxide was actually a hackamy under glaze and then it had a sort of transparent milky type of glaze and then uh, an iron, o iron oxide on top of that. Number 11. Number 10. This is a Tamaku, which has uh, an impressed an impressed decoration. Brown, black. Number 10. Number 9 is... I'm not actually sure, I'm not sure if I remember what that glaze was. But it's... Um, I don't think it's my usual milky glaze because it's got a definite crackle to it. And I may have tried to rub in some iron, ox iron oxide there just to enhance the crackle. I might actually add a bit more and do that a bit more. You can do that with some like three in one oil and uh, red iron oxide. You make up like a paste and then you kind of rub it in the, into the crazing. Number nine. Here we have here we have, uh, this looks like field glaze, which is that dirt from my field back there where I'm pointing, which has got soybeans in right now. But uh, I just take the dirt and that's the dirt from there, kind of randomly, loosely poured over the the side of the tea bowl and then it's had wood ash sprayed over that. That's number eight. Number seven here. This is a tea bowl um, that I, I did an impressed random pressing on the outside. Um, and then I sprayed wood ash over it, milky glaze to the inside. It's quite, um, it's quite textural to hold. That's number seven. Let's have a sip of tea. Ah. Right, over here. Yeah, this was impressed with a, uh, a sushi mat. 
Oh, I remember now. This one was a clay body that I added some extra grog to. You can see the grog there showing up in the trimming. Um, and this had, yes, field glaze to the inside. And wood ash sprayed over the over the outside texture. Yeah, that one is number six. Put him over there. Now this guy, he's kind of interesting, isn't he? Um, yes, that one. That is also field glaze, but it's fired rather strangely. And I sprayed wood ash over the outside of it. And it's it's a bit like a chun glaze, if you know what that is. Um, it's behaved a bit like that, where it's been very heavily sprayed. Quite interesting. Yeah, that's number five. And here we have a, a tea bowl that was, I kind of, when I threw it, I, I, in, I kind of indented the side and that has had a Temaku glaze put over it. Yeah, so, yeah, that's number four. If you like that, these I'm going to be selling for, what did I say? <laughs> $40, including shipping. That's reduced down from $48 or $50. This one is actually similar, isn't it? Number three and number seven, seven are similar. This one's got the old price on it. 55 well, yeah, now that is field glaze. That is field glaze with wood ash sprayed over the outside. If that grabs you, number three. What do we got next? Yes, okay, this was another one of those Bit, si bit similar to that one, the same, uh, the same clay batch. I had some clay. I added some children's play sand too, and it made it very, very, very textural and groggy, as you can see. And I dipped that with a, yeah, that is field glaze again but I scratched through the glaze because it was raw raw glaze, you see, so I scratched through to the clay underneath. That's what these little marks are here. It's quite nice actually. In its way, you know. We've got to be open to see don't look for, well this is what I say to myself anyway, I'm not telling you what to do, but uh, I, I try to um, you know when you get a pot out of the kiln it can be, come out a little bit different than what you anticipated or what you hoped for or what you thought it was going to come out like, it may come out a bit different and and then sometimes you have to sort of uh, look at it differently, um, re-evaluate it, you know, from a different perspective somehow. Um, that's number two, number two. Uh, it has a sort of appeal, I kind of like it in its way. Number two, uh, last but not least, here is number one. Uh, yes, this is like a brown field glaze on the inside and over the outside poured 
that's similar to another one, uh, that one isn't it, number 8. These two are basically the same. Um, so, yeah, number 8 and number 1 really basically the same. Um, wood ash sprayed over and then fired in, in the reduction kiln. These, for the most part, actually were raw, once fired, raw glazed. Some of them actually might have been bisqued. Yeah, one or two of them, I think that was bisqued, I think that was bisqued. Um, that one probably was bisqued, number four. But I think the rest of them were all raw glazed. So there you have it, folks. If any of those grab you, we're going to try and sell them off a bit cheap. 40 bucks, including shipping. Write to me. Write to me and say, Simon, is number, whatever the number is, is it sold? If not, I'd like it. All right, and... Um, I was trying to get people to send me uh, checks. It's just a way of getting around having to pay all these fees to PayPal and Etsy. And... But I don't know if at the end of the day it's just more hassle for me ends up because I, do, I have to do all this extra correspondence with people. Which can get irksome at times. Well, I just got that in with a bit of sunshine. I was hoping to have done it in the sunshine, but anyway, uh, yeah, just write to me. If you've got a PayPal account, maybe we'll just get it. We'll do it through that. Well, yes, greetings to all of those at, in New Jersey at Boonton Mud. <laughs> John and Melanie, hi. Thanks, we had a great weekend last... Not this weekend past, but the weekend before that. I was up there for a couple of days and we, we did practicing. We had two separate workshops, one on the Saturday and then another group in on the Sunday. It was a keep practicing workshop. It went pretty well, I think, you know, uh, and uh, I enjoyed it anyway. And uh, yeah, so big hi to all of those up there. And then I may have to do another workshop coming up in New Jersey again somewhere. I forget where it is. Maybe it's the New Jersey Potters or New Jersey Potters Guild or something. Yeah, but if you want me to come and do a workshop in your neck of the woods, wherever that is, give me a shout, write to me, you know, and um, if I fancy coming, well, maybe we can arrange it. Well, it's high summer here in Pennsylvania. It's the crickets are out, the insects are buzzing, everything is sticky and sweaty. That probably is where you are too. Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We're going to get back in the studio. We've got some more things to do there. I've got some things to show you coming up. I've also got more pots like this. Uh, give me your feedback if you like this idea of me showing you some pots. I've got a bunch more pots to bring out, put on the table here, and we're going to sell them off cheap. So more of those videos to come. Okay, hey, keep practicing, and I will see you. Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee. Yes.